This is a combination of three exercises. 2, 4, 1a using absolute coordinates, 2, 4, 2a using relative coordinates, and 2, 4, 3a using polar coordinates. We'll begin with 2, 4, 1a absolute coordinates. I'm in drawing CCS located in the steps lesson 2 folder. My dynamic input and my polar tracking have both been toggled off. I'll begin by drawing a line from absolute coordinates 4 comma 3 to 2 comma 5. I'll complete the command. Now what I have is point 4 comma 3 right here and point 2 comma 5 right here with a line drawn between them. We'll remove that line and we'll look at our relative coordinates. I'll draw a line. This time I'll start at the absolute coordinate of 2 comma 3, but I'm going to use a relative coordinate at 1 comma 2. That means that I went one space on the x-axis, two spaces on the y-axis. Now I can undo that and I can turn on my dis dynamic input and I can repeat the exercise, drawing a line starting at 2 comma 3, but instead of typing at 1 comma 2 with my dynamic input on, I will enter 1 comma 2 without the at symbol. You'll notice that it appears in my dynamic input and I hit enter. When I do, if you'll notice on my display, AutoCAD has put the at in there for me. Complete the command. And again, I started here and I went one place over on the X and two places up on the Y. I'll delete that and I'll turn my dynamic input back off. Now let's take a look at our polar coordinates. Polar coordinates will be entered at a distance at an angle of. Okay, we'll start with our line command. We'll start at an absolute coordinate of 4 comma 2. We're going to go at 3 at an angle of 135 degrees. There we go. So we started at an absolute coordinate 4 comma 2 and we went 3 units at an angle of 135 degrees. Okay, we'll delete that line. We'll turn our dynamic input back on and we'll do this again. We'll type, we'll start our line at coordinates 4 comma 2 notice our polar inputs what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my distance 3 and I'm going to use my tab key notice that I move over into the other slot on my dynamic display I enter 135 degrees hit enter, complete the command. Again, I started at an absolute coordinate and I went three units at an angle of 135 degrees. The difference was that I used the dynamic display to enter my coordinates.